dead end on the shirt. It wasn't a total loss. Since it wasn't made till 1988, we know he was alive then. So we narrowed our timeline. Yeah, six year window instead of ten. Make that four. He was alive February 21st, 1990. On to watch. Yeah. And we have the ticket. I'm sorry, pal. You're a few hours late. Oh, and I just came in and picked it up. The owner's been dead since Dinkins was mayor. He didn't just come by. Look, what do you want me to tell you? I've had that watch forever. Today, a guy comes in, describes it perfectly, even the inscription on the back. Ticket or no ticket, the thing had to be his. No coincidence the watch just picked up today after 14 years. Somebody else knew it was here and didn't want us to get it first. Mm, someone who knows we're looking for him. But it's not 1990 anymore. It's gotten a lot harder to hide. Guy played the camera perfectly. Kept his head down the entire time. So this is our best view of the only suspect we have? Unfortunately. Get creative. Done. Okay. From the top. Mystery man enters. Keeps his head down, goes straight to the counter. Didn't even stop to look at the jewelry. He doesn't have to. He knows what he wants. Freeze it. Who knows glasses? Can you pull a reflection? Mm -hmm. No problem. Cleaning up. We have... A great shot of his baseball cap. Keep going. He steps away from freedom. What's he doing? It's not on the screen, but that doesn't mean it's not on the tape. NTSC signals are over scanned. All right, how much are we missing? It's a guitar. It's DNA. <laughs> Creative enough for you. Partial DNA profile from the guitar strings got a hit in the CODIS missing persons database. The missing kid who owned the backpack and the pocket knife? Aaron Moreland. You kidding? He disappeared in 87. He was 17 years old. Which means he's now 34. And the prime suspect in a murder.